Hello, I'm Kristen and I made a short video for you today about sketching leaves. So here's the finished sketch working with pen and watercolor. I feel like a nice place to start is working with something that's relatively flat and because it's August there's some pretty colors in the leaves right now. So I think I'm gonna do these three. Um, so one fun thing about doing leaves and one reason why I like to work with them kind of as a beginning warm-up exercise is that they're relatively flat um, so they're easy to trace onto your paper. Um, what I do for tracing is really really lightly go around with my pencil and then it's hard to get every little um, tooth or ridge in the margins so I go back on top of that and fix it. So I'm actually going to draw it with pen after that. So I'm just going over my light pencil sketch with pen. I'm using a pen with permanent ink and I'm paying attention to the texture on the margins or the edges of the leaves and then also carefully looking at the veins and how they meet in the middle. So with watercolor, we want to work from light to dark. So we want to start by figuring out what the lightest color is in each of our leaves. We also have this red-green thing going on. Um, red and green are complementary colors, which when they're mixed together, they make um, brown. So we just want to be aware of that. Uh, but in here, there's a lot of this yellow, um, orange. It tends towards orange or it tends towards brown or green. Um, but I'm gonna start just with one base, one flat wash over the whole leaf of this Indian yellow that I have. Because I feel like the yellow kind of comes through with everything else. And I want, that's sort of what distinguishes this leaf from these two leaves, so I want that to come through too. So, yep, just doing a flat. And with my pen lines, I kind of have like a little coloring book for myself already. It can get a little bit lighter down here because that's going to get more green later. And let's see. I also want to get the stem. And I'm using more of a quinacridone. Actually, while it's wet, I might do a little bit of wet in wet painting. quite dark. I don't want it to be so dark or saturated. All right, now it's starting to dry, so I'm just going to leave that one alone. And for this one, there is some kind of light yellow pink in the veins and then there's a light green around here so I'm actually going to start with just going over the vein areas I'm kind of using stuff that I already had mixed on my palette you can swatch it out on the side that looks pretty good for what I'm looking for now I'm just going to go in with this light green kind of going around those. Yeah, just this green and then have it kind of graded wash up and there's a couple spots up here. While I'm waiting for the first wash to dry, I paint in some shadows underneath the leaves so that they have a space on the white page. I'm using a very pale wash of lunar violet or a gray color that I have in my palette and um, painting with a little bit of pigment and a lot of water uh, just to make a light wash and then coming back and softening the edges.
Now that the first wash is dry, I'm going to come back in with more greens and reds, building up layers, um, adding in red places um, where the leaves are red, and also darkening areas to build up interest and depth in the leaves. Since the first wash of light green is dry on the fireweed leaf, I can come back in and add a second wash of red, and the two will stay separate and not mix too much to brown. So the process involves letting layers dry and then adding new layers, getting slightly darker um, and adding more contrast and detail each time. The next layer is to build up shadows and dimension inside the leaves using a purpley gray wash. Adding in some darker details, paying attention to these brown spots on the rose leaflet and adding in a little bit of texture detail on the cottonwood leaf. Also building up some shadows along the edges. Adding a little bit of brightness to the fireweed leaf and the other leaves. And finally coming in and adding a few notes in pens describing the type of leaf and then also the date. And my sketch is getting pretty close to being finished, but I just want to come back and add one more layer with some dark shadows and details. That extra contrast helps the leaves pop off the page a little bit more. And then if you want, um, once it's really dry, you can come back in with a pen and add a couple last details, but the goal isn't to make um, a super detailed botanical sketch, just to get the idea down of what's happening in the yard. 